Hi, I'm Laura of Strawberry Moon Farm, and today I'm going to talk about cold stratification. Cold stratification is a germination technique that basically tells the seeds that winter is over and now it is spring and it is safe to germinate. Now when we're growing plants in our house or a greenhouse in the winter to give them a head start, we know that we're taking care of the plant and we're not going to let it freeze and it is safe for it to germinate. But not all plants understand that. Many plants, especially the wild plants, many of the native plants, they expect that they are gonna drop their seeds in the summer or the fall, and then they're gonna wait until winter has passed and then begin growing in the spring. This prevents the plant from putting all of its energy into sending up new growth that's just gonna die in the frost. So the difference between just storing your dry seeds in the refrigerator and cold stratification is that you store them moist for cold stratification. This is how I like to store my seeds for long keeping. I keep them in this very sturdy Ziploc bag. This is actually a reusable silicone one. So you don't have to throw it away at the end. You get many, many uses out of it. It's very sturdy. It seals up really tight. So it keeps the moisture levels consistent for the seeds. And I store this in my refrigerator all the time. These seeds are not getting cold stratified. They're just being preserved by being kept in the refrigerator that way. I also like to organize them by planting time. So I have the, my seeds split up into these little packets. This one says direct sow in the fall. This one says these are seeds I decided not to grow out this particular year. And this packet, all of these seeds need cold stratification. So I put them all together in a group. There's some really great um, plants in here that all require cold stratification. We've got prairie onion, Ohio spiderwort. Um, my favorite namesake plant, the wild strawberry. Uh, early wild rose. A lot of great native plants and wild plants. Today I am going to plant uh, as a demonstration, I'm going to plant anise root. This is Osmoriza longestylis. It is in the APACE family, which is like carrots and dill and celery. And I have read that it has an edible root and edible leaves, which have a licorice flavor. So I really want to try this and I want to experiment with it in my cooking, but it's not available in stores so if you want to eat this you have to grow it and so I'm gonna try to grow it. This is also a native plant so by establishing this on my land I will help to promote better biodiversity and hopefully um, a better habitat for the insects and wildlife that live here. So I've tried a lot of different methods of cold stratification Last year, I tried the planting them in cell blocks in flats in the refrigerator, and it worked very well for the plants that needed a short stratification period. But the plants that were in there so long, they started to kind of get mixed up. Some of the seeds were kind of running around to different locations, and I was having some unidentified plants popping up in unexpected places. And so this year, what I want to do is, for one container, one species. So I have been saving up my um, plastic disposable containers that things come in from the grocery store. And in each one of these, I'm just going to do one species. So I'm going to fill this whole thing up with the anise root seeds today. I have modified this container a little bit by poking some holes in the bottom and also in the top for ventilation. So I'm just going to open this. I'm going to fill it up with this. Um, this is just basic potting mix with no fertilizer. You don't need fertilizer for this. So it's just peat, perlite, and vermiculite, and a bit of lime that I mixed up myself. I've pre-moistened this. It's not wet at all. It's just a little bit damp. You don't want it too wet or it can mold. 
and you don't want it too dry or the seeds will dry out. So I'm just going to tamp it down a little bit. I've got the potting mix in my container. And then I am going to take my seeds and I'm actually going to plant all of them because I would like to have a lot of these plants. And it's okay if they're kind of um, close together because once they germinate, we will separate them at that time. Just gonna spread them out as much as I can. And then I'm gonna add more potting soil on top to cover them so that they stay moist on both sides of the seed. And then I'm just gonna put my lid on the last thing I'm going to do is make a label for this. And since this is a disposable container, I'm just going to write directly on it with an extra permanent Sharpie. And then I'll just put this in my refrigerator and I'm going to keep it in there for 60 days because this seed packet is telling me that it needs 60 days of cold stratification. Now I'm not going to just put this in the refrigerator for 60 days and forget about it. I will open it up once every two weeks or so, check to see if it's drying out, if it's getting frozen. We actually don't want them to be frozen. Uh, they won't die if they're frozen, but it slows the whole process down. You want them sort of refrigerator temperature where they're very cold, but they're not frozen. So an alternative would be to leave this outside and do the same thing. The only reason why I don't do that is because when I've tried that before, I find that they really dry out very quickly and they get very frozen and it's hard to moisten them again and I haven't had very good results. But good luck with all of your seed growing this year and hey, reach out and let me know how it goes for you. I wanna hear if you try cold stratification, which plants you're growing and how they all work out. Thanks for tuning in.